Guitar Ready 6 Pro is an effects stuff plugin for Native Instruments. With 21 amps and 6 to 8 effects, I think we can all agree that this plugin has a lot to offer. But when you first open it, you might wonder where on earth do I even begin? Hey, this is Ernesto, and today we're talking about Guitar Rig 6 Pro for beginners. So real quick, what is the big deal with Guitar Rig 6 Pro? The simplest way to describe this plugin is that it's a multi-effects rack and amp simulator. It takes all the best amps and guitar pedals out there in the world and packs it into a single plugin. So what should you use it on and how should a beginner approach Guitar Rig 6? Although guitar is in the name of this plugin, it's not just for guitars. You can put this plugin on pretty much anything. Yeah, put it on guitars. but also try it on bass. Or try it on synths. Even lead vocals. Like this. Try it on everything. So whether you want to explore different tones or experiment with a whole suite of plugins, reach out for this plugin. So now I want to give you a walkthrough slash workflow for this plugin. So what I like to do is start off with a clear direction in mind. So let's take this sound for example. Cool, so dry guitar here. And what I can hear it is going like lush, ambient, having to go through an amp. Um, so what we're going to do is to find that preset for it. So we're going to go to the search panel and we're going to go through all these different uh, categories and just start clicking the characteristics that we just mentioned. So input source is a guitar. Effects type, um, I want to go through an amp in cab. So that's good there. And we'll go clean and uh, let's see, character spacious. Sweet. So now let's kind of go through what's been curated for us and hear what we get. All right, pretty cool. Let's go here. Mm, let's try this one. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, cool, let's drop this mixer in the shimmer. Yeah, let's hear how, how it was before. Okay, and now with it. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was really easy to do. So remember, have a clear direction in mind. And then once you have those adjectives, those words, go check out the search panel here. And if you're a beginner, here's another great tip. As you come across those presets that you really like, pay attention to what components, what amps and cabs are being used. Why? Because remember there's six to eight effects, 21 cabs. You're not gonna be using all of them. You'll have your go-tos. So before we go on, if you're enjoying this video, please let me know by liking it. But liking this video is just a really quick and simple way for you to support this channel. Thank you so much for doing so. Now there's no shame in sticking with presets. Seriously, there isn't. But if, if you're looking for more of a challenge, here's some ways that you can push yourself beyond these presets. So I have this piano loop right here that I think sounds super gorgeous. And I added on this Life Sports preset here. Sounds super cool already. But let's go beyond this preset. So the first way you can do that is by changing out some of these effects, adding some, taking some away, swapping out cabs and all that stuff. So first, what I wanna do is click this cab and let's try some other, other uh, models here. Jump, lead. You see how it's changing the tone ever so slightly. I think what I want is the Chicago one here. Tight. Great, now let's add in some effects. So look at all these effects. There's a lot, there's a ton, oh my gosh. So once again, we're going to use these little tags here to help narrow them down. So delay and echo. I love replica. This is one of my favorite effects for native instruments. So it's like a delay, but we are gonna change it to um, diffusion. Cool, make it even dreamier sounding. And then one other thing I want to do is one called Rotator that I pinned up here. So we'll add Rotator as well. That's cool. But it's sounding too washed out. 
So let's take out this vintage verb. Right click, delete. It's gone. Let's bring this back here. Do a little mix. So before. <laughs> and then after. Cool. So the first way, what did we do? We just added some effects in, took some out, swapped out the cab. That's one way that you can just tweak a preset. Okay, so here's the second way to go beyond the preset. And it's by clicking this little hex button here on some of the components, you click it and you get some additional, more advanced settings here. So let's go ahead and just go through them and click them all. Bam, so we have, yeah, we have a few of them all over the place, great. Let's run through the preset and we'll start adjusting these advanced knobs here. Honestly, I don't know what <laughs> these things do. There are so many plugins here that it's hard to know what everything does. So I'm just gonna mess around and see if I hear something I like. Oh, cool, I like that there. Let's go down to rotator. I want the fast to be up on the treble, slow to be up on the bass. Drop the mix, I think it's still too much. And then uh, on replica here, what I'm gonna do is add in some stereo width, sure and this ducking, so it gets, so the, the effect gets out of the way of the audio signal. Cool. Yeah, I think this little ducking thing down here really just helps it feel more articulate and less washed out and mushy. Cool. Okay, so the third way to go beyond the preset is by clicking this modifier tab here. You'll see all the modifiers that will help add modulation to pretty much any of the knobs that you have in your rig. So what I'm gonna do is choose LFO because that's kind of the simplest for me to understand. Uh, and then I'm going to click this little preset menu and choose sign. So now we have a sine wave. And then I'm gonna click and drag this and put it on some knobs and see what happens with it. So one thing I wanna do for sure is add it onto the mix of my replica, great. I know it's going a little too crazy, but we'll fix that later. This one on the feedback, on my course, and maybe on the mix knob here. Okay, so it's going way too wackadoodle. So what we're gonna do is click the hex knob on the LFO, and now we have this, the range of that modulation, the depth of it. So I'm gonna drop everything down first, because it is way too much. Cool. That's feeling a lot better. And as you can see the modulation happening on the knobs that we modulating. Cool. Another obvious thing you can do that I did not mention is to just completely build something from scratch. Um, but as a beginner, I don't know, I wouldn't try that as a beginner. I would kind of work off the presets if I were you. So as you're experimenting, when you come across a rig that you really like, please do yourself a favor and save it. Make your own preset from it. So what I'm gonna do is click this little floppy disk and we're gonna make a preset here called Dreamy Ocean. Sounds like a fun name. Click OK. Great. So now when you click this little user icon, our preset is right here. If you're interested in trying or buying a Tarbrick 6 Pro, click the link down below. And when you're ready to buy, please consider clicking my affiliate link down in the description. Um, the small commissions I make from each affiliate link purchase helps the channel a lot. So if you do that, thanks a ton. And that concludes Guitar Rig 6 Pro for beginners. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking this video so other music makers can find it. Later.